guys welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time I love filming locations and I love New York I've been wanting to do this one for so long welcome to the filming locations for men in black hey everyone I am Tampa J this is the Big Apple Manhattan and these are the filming locations to men in black and for the first men in black filming location we come across from a filming location I've documented before that is where Vigo the Carpathian was stored in the museum from Ghostbusters 2, the sequel to my all-time favorite movie, filmed across the street from Men in Black HQ headquarters, 504 Battery Street. And I'm recreating the shot as you first see the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel. It's just a disguise for MIB HQ. The camera kind of pans down here as Will Smith Agent J comes for his interview, and he stops right here. And at the end of the movie, you've got Agent J and K, Will Smith, and of course, Tommy Lee Jones, having a little chat right here in front of the doorway. There you go, it came out so you can match it up a little bit. This wall here was not here. This barricade and this fence obviously wasn't there, and the doors have changed just a little bit, but in the background, you can make out 504 on the former door. Here's the spot. They were standing like right out here. There you go. Brooklyn Battery Tunnel, Manhattan Plaza. Longest underwater vehicular tunnel in North America. Notice the sidewalk behind Will Smith there. Just behind him. He's looking up behind me at the battery tunnel. The sidewalk hasn't changed. I'll put the image down there to the right. The camera would have been looking down. You can make out the sidewalk pattern it hasn't changed since 1997. I'm pointing the scene so you can see. He walks right inside the door and I just kind of made it look like he was going somewhere, but he really wasn't. It's just a ventilation system. I don't even know if there's an actual elevator in there. I wish we could get in there to figure it out, but the rest of that scene obviously was filmed on a set in MIB headquarters. Here's a better shot of the first time J and K go out on their first call coming right out of the doors here. That sign to the right, long gone. That plaque, you see, I'll put this screenshot back into frame. There you go, Agent K and J walking to the Ford, which would have been parked right out here in the street just before Battery Park. Tommy Lee Jones getting in the street right here. I'm trying to film this before the bus comes up, but the door's open for the Ford, and you can make out the building in the background. Oh, gonna get hit by the bus. But yeah, the black Ford was parked right here. It actually came back across the street because I started the video over here. A national park and also the way you get to the Statue of Liberty, which I did a couple years back because another filming location, Ghostbuster 2, the Statue of Liberty. So I, I've been out here before and here's a map to show you where we're going. Here's the old battery. The filming location is out in this vicinity. I'm trying to find it. It's when J and K, Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith are sitting on the park bench. You can actually make out the battery behind them. Castle Clinton, which can be seen behind Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith. It would have been on the backside, but I just wanted to show you this historic national monument that sits in Battery Park. And on the backside of the castle here, the battery, where you load to go to the Statue of Liberty, Right here on the sidewalk, now there's benches over here now, but I'm looking at the screenshot and I'm placing where K and J were sitting on the bench. And I'm matching that up because of the skyscrapers you see behind them and also the castle, the battery behind them. It looks like they may have set a park bench right here on the, right here on this platform. The battery and the three buildings right here can clearly be seen behind them. This is the spot where Jay decided to become, to become an agent. Very noisy here behind us, the ramps for the ferry boat to the Statue of Liberty. Woo! Which is right there, that's the waves doing that. And as Kay's walking off and Jay shouts, hey man, is it worth it? Kay, Tommy Lee Jones, stops right here, looks back and says, oh yeah, totally worth it. And you can make out the pylons behind him and the ferry boat that takes you to Liberty Island. This is railing too, nothing has changed. Yeah, specifically these, I'll put a screenshot in the lower right hand corner so you can see it. Right down there, there's the ferry boat. I can see the Statue of Liberty from here. 
very small, of course. That's a Titanic reference. I had to. And for the next Men in Black filming location, we come up to 82nd and 5th Avenue. This iconic building designed by architect Frank Lloyd Wright was in the beginning of the film when Jay chased the alien dude who eventually jumped off the roof of the Guggenheim. He chased him down the street, actually down the sidewalk here, and kind of pinned him against the wall. This is Central Park. He pinned him against the wall. He does like a backflip, and then the alien runs out, and Jay runs after him into the Guggenheim. Filming location, Men in Black. Look at this. I'm gonna break it down a little further and show a screenshot or two, of course. I will also put this screenshot into frame when I move uh, my phone away, but I'm using the phone as a tool to match it up. The crosswalk is still there. There's a bus coming down uh, Fifth there, but he's running right here. Also the traffic light. That's the same traffic light from the movie. I'll put a screenshot in the lower right. Camera may have been back a little bit. These vans are kind of the way. This Verizon van, you can see the pole in the lower right in the screenshot. But that's when the alien takes off and Jay runs after them and they go right inside the Guggenheim. So somewhere in this vicinity, I'm gonna match it up, maybe match up the bricks. But this is where Jay slams the guy against the wall and he does that backflip to get out of it. He also drops the alien gun along these bricks. When you see it laying on the ground, you can make out the bricks. This is where the gun landed. At first I thought it was over there. It's actually right here. I was able to pinpoint the spot because in the screenshot you see a narrow rectangle on top of a larger rectangle right in front of Will Smith there. Just out and to the left. I'll put a screenshot right here and pay attention to these bricks right there. That is right in front of them where I paused this shot. I paused it just right. Those two bricks indicates locate the spot. So kind of adjacent. Yeah, that makes more sense. From the Guggenheim, he would have ran off across the street that way. This is where he pins him against the wall and he says, NYPD, knock your punk ass down. Famous Will Smith line right there. NYPD, knock your punk ass. I'm not gonna say the word, down. Always been a fan of the architecture, the mid-century architecture of Frank Lloyd Wright. So cool to be walking up into the Guggenheim. Look, it's got a cutout down there too. It goes down too. And the dude actually jumps up off the sidewalk and starts climbing up the side of the Guggenheim and he would have been placed about right there. I'll show you the screenshot. You can make out the, the design of the building to the left. Definitely that edge right there. That's where he's crawling up and then he kind of like crawls all the way up and then this is before you know Jay knows anything about aliens and he's like has that WTF moment looking up this is an actual museum so people are going in and out Will Smith goes right through this revolving door right here he comes around the corner you can actually make out the flower bed to the right and he goes right inside this door and I'll put a, a screenshot in the frame to the right so you can see it actually he goes inside this door right there and these are the doors where Will Smith shoots he shoots the door open shoots the glass to get inside the Guggenheim and these bars look at this you can match this up there's a screenshot below these are the doors right beside the Guggenheim check this out I've always wanted to come in here to walk up you have to go all the way around the spiral as you see Will Smith run up to the rooftop Wow, you can't even put it all in the frame. Agent J sprinting all the way up the spiral. There's a camera all the way at the top just filming his travels running around the Guggenheim. And then the next scene cuts to the top to the roof outside. So cool to be in here. And then right up there is when Jay meets up again with the alien dude and he's like, what the heck are you? And then he kind of does like a all arms out, just kind of free falls back, falls back into the streets right here on Fifth Avenue. Actually right out here across from the park where the scene began, Men in Black. Right there, the Guggenheim. Wow. Again, I always wanted to come here. Such an awesome building. And of course I have with me, I would call you the king of filming locations. I wouldn't go that far. One of the OGs out there on YouTube. When was the last time you seen Men in Black? It's been 20 years. 
20 years? I heard it slaps. It does slap. That's what the kids say. It slaps. Will Smith's on it. Will Smith's on it. Oh. <laughs> Knock your pump. <laughs> I was like, what? Keep my wife's name out of this video. We're not gonna, we're never gonna mention Jada Pinkett Smith. Oh, whoops. And passing back through Central Park, and also passing for the second time this weekend, the bridge from Highlander. There can be only one McLeod. The Bow Bridge, right here in the center of Central Park. Just passing by. And for the next filming location, we have come all the way up to Queens. There's City Field right there, the Mets baseball team stadium. We're entering Gotham Plaza, heading to Corona Park. It's really cool, Gotham Plaza. Didn't know that was a thing. Batman. For you big MIB fans, I think you know where I'm about to go. Flushing Meadows, Corona Park. Not only did they have the World's Fair out here, but a bunch of aliens passed by and J&K blew them up. Welcome to the ending of MIB. Now I'm gonna show you where it is on the map where we're going. Theater in the park and the Unisphere can be seen in MIB. There's actually a picture here of both of them at the 1965 World's Fair. And the final showdown goes down right here in between the tower and the Unisphere. The spaceship crashes Edgar gets out turns into a bug and then up against the pavilion the New York pavilion just below the towers is where the showdown goes between Jay and the bug Edgar all right here at Corona Park and right there into the Unisphere the giant spaceship which just had flown over the Mets Stadium their former stadium Shea Stadium in the image is crashing right into the Unisphere and you've got Agent J and K right here in this same spot, in this grassy spot on the east side of the Unisphere. Looks like some of the light poles are gone, the benches are gone, but you can definitely make out this median right here, this walkway out before them. They were standing right here before the towers. Look at this, Agent K and J in Men in Black. This is so cool. Edgar carrying Dr. Laura Weaver up there on his shoulder about to take off in the spaceships. Those are spaceships. Well, at least they were at MIB. I've been out here once before. I didn't get this close to the towers though. It's amazing that this has been sitting out here since the 1960s and it really fits in that kind of mid-century vibe which that was kind of the vibe in Men in Black. I always appreciated that, especially in the third film, spoiler alert, when they go back to the actual 60s. And that's one of my favorite things to see at Universal on the attraction. It's got a vintage vibe, Men in Black. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Here you go, getting closer. So Edgar was crawling up these indentations sticking out here. You see these? One, two, three, all the way up. Yeah, so right there to the right, it's covered with scaffolding, but there's a ladder on those yellow beams that go horizontal there. That's where Edgar was climbing. I've got the screenshot into frame now. You can clearly see he was climbing up there with Dr. Weaver. Those things are a lot bigger than the ones at Universal, that's for sure. Adam shooting his video. He's got the map here, so there, is where we're at right now, the giant spaceships. That was the New York State area of the World's Fair. So this is representing New York State. Oh there, you got the big map there. Thanks Adam. And it's so cool to see that they are restoring this. I was reading online, they haven't been restored in well over 30 something years. So that's quite, that's quite impeccable. Good deal, love that. Keep history alive, that's what I say, especially cinematic history. And again, just a look at the Queens Theater, which was a part of the New York State Towers, which are sitting to the right. Here come the men in black, the galaxy defenders. I was trying to do Jack Black doing men in black, but I don't think I did it. I tried. Check out this old globe here, left over from the World's Fair. It's pretty sick. And now welcome to the former home plate of the New York Mets former stadium, legendary ballpark Shea Stadium, 
a filming location to Men in Black. The spaceship flies off from the towers, flies right over a night game the New York Mets are playing, and then it circles back around and crashes into the Unisphere. But a really brief and cool moment, they actually used the old Shea Stadium for that scene. And also, the Beatles once played here in 1964. And for the next location, we come to the Lower East Side. We're kind of near Chinatown in a region called Williamsburg. This is the Universal Pawn Shop from Men in Black, right here at 90 Orchard Street, right on the corner of this nice neighborhood. Look at this. Check it out. This is where K brings J after they leave the police department and they head into this pawn shop and inside Jeeves is working and J K is integrating him. They walk in this door here. It's all different inside. Actually, the space is available, but this is the pawn shop from the beginning. And the scene starts as the camera kind of goes down here and you can make out that red fire hydrant there on the corner of the sidewalk. And there was a sign up there that said Universal Pawn Brokers, the name of the pawn shop. It's a dark shot, but you can make out this, this flower on this pole before the door. J and K pull up right here in the street and they walk into the pawn shop via this way and they go right past this pole into the door. It's a busy street so I'm trying to match it up. But there you go, there's the screenshot. They would have been standing like right over here, the black Ford parked in the street. And Will Smith comes out of the pawn shop right here. The camera kind of stops and you can make out this pole behind him. Also, the Universal Pawn Broker sign that used to sit right here. And K and J right here kind of recreating the shot of the pawn shop. Talked to the owner, he stepped out. The last movie he said to be filmed here was The Irishman. This is a Irishman, Martin Scorsese filming location as well. And, and there was a couple other things. He said that Ghostbusters is in town and there's a chance that they might actually use this building because they're filming that movie. I don't know how accurate that is, but that, that, would, that would be awesome. And here's the back side of the filming location. Just want to point out, this is the first spot place where K wipes Jay's memory. He pulls out the memory erasing device right in front of the store here. Ugh. Just a couple places down, 90 is where the pawn shop is, 94. It looks awfully different, but right here they built the locksmith shop where Frank the Pug, the dog that talked, the alien dog, his booth was right here. And also that weird guy that was like kind of next to him that kind of looked like the guy from Rocky Horror, the butler guy. This is where they filmed that. All right, so we've concluded. Adam's helped me out here. We counted over the spaces from that sign, which is screen used. I'll put the image in the bottom corner right here. This is where they built the facade, the booth for Frank the dog. This is the locksmith shop right between these two, right there. See, there's that creepy dude that looks like the Rocky Horror guy in there with Frank. Auto house, locksmith, these two pillars, right there. Right here. This is where Frank was, Frank the pug. And there you go, recreating the shot. Imagine this being yellow, this being yellow, that sign right there, and this kind of thing right here sticking out that awning that is seen so there you go there you go then now and for the next filming location we walk several blocks actually it was 1.1 miles to MacDougall in the Sullivan Thompson History District, somewhere near Soho. All right, I'm gonna show you. This is the address, 54 yeah, McDougal Street. I'm gonna go across the street to show you what's going on. There were several scenes filmed right out here in McDougal. 54, the address 54 McDougal is the former location of the Rosenberg Fine Jewelry Store. This is where the cat Orion was Orion's belt. He was he had the galaxy on his collar and they were trying to figure out the mystery. It got torn down in 2018 and this new structure was built in its place, but right inside there is where the old man and the cat lived from the movie. And Edgar, Mr. Sugarwater, played by Vincent D'Ofrio, came here looking for Orion's belt and he came around the corner in the box truck and parked it 
actually right here where these city bikes are just to show you what's going on here. And here you go, I've got it on the screenshot just to show you. It looks like they tore down the building in between both of these buildings currently. The one to the left is a busy restaurant right now. Yeah, so exactly where this black car is parked, that is where the black Ford was parked by Jay and Kay as they arrived to Rosenberg's. And you can make out in the screenshot I'm about to show you, you can make out Edgar's truck to the right. Look at this. Reverse angle. If you look behind Tommy Lee Jones, you can make out the extinguisher's uh, box truck there, Edgar's box, box truck that he drove all the way here into New York out the window. And also this building across the street behind Jay. Look at this. Would have been a little ways back inside the former building, but you can definitely make out the street behind them there in the corner, specifically the fire escapes. And a little down McDougal Street, this scene right here. I'm standing kinda in the road where the camera would have been, it would have been higher up, but you can make out the left and to the right and the box truck, Edgar's box truck crashed into the curve up here into this building. I'll put the shot in the lower right, but you can definitely make out kinda the structure right here, the concrete, just before the van. It would have been crashed right here. Edgar's uh, truck was crashed right there. Right there to the right. And right out front of the former Rosenberg Jewelry Store, I'm kind of matching up the shot here as I'm going, but Edgar's box truck was about to be towed. You can make out this white brick building behind it as the tow truck driver is hooking it up. Notice the white building right here is where Edgar's box truck was parked just before the jewelry store. And here's the spot. Look, Vincent D'Onfrio coming straight for the tow truck driver. Hey, that's my truck. Yeah, buddy, make sure you tell them that downtown is what the tow truck driver says. Looking right down McDougald. And here in the Flatiron District, just not too far from the Flatiron building, a couple blocks away, the 69th Regiment armory now this is the medical examiner the morgue in men in black but it's not the front this looks totally different it's actually the loading dock on the back side down the way here it's a beautiful building look at that and all the way in the back of the building this ledge and steps right here the garage door the ledge i got a screenshot i'll show you but this was the entrance of the medical examiner from men in black this is the door. It's all the way at the end of the armory. We got out of the Uber over here. We took an Uber and it, they dropped us off, of course, where the address was over there. But it, you gotta come all the way to the back to find the spot. We've got Agent J and K on the balcony here. Adam's gonna be my assistant. He's gonna film me up there, kind of doing what Will Smith is about to do there, right in the same spot. No, better be careful. Yeah, be careful up there. Yeah, right here. You got Will here in that shot. You got Tommy Lee Jones right there. It's almost exactly the same. There's like a sign over here. The medical examiner sign was right here. And now I'm up here. Look at this. Got the doors here from the movie. Same ones. The brick, the medical examiner sign was right there in the corner. This is so cool. Okay, they actually parked down the street. And they come up the steps right here. Check this out. I'm gonna stop it right here. Let's put a screenshot in the lower right. I'm gonna pan over. Right there's the doors that they walk right through. And they're the same ones. After Will Smith jumps off the ledge there, he jumps on a car that's parked right before the garage here. Look at this. This area right here. It's a bright light, but there you go. Then and now I'll put a screenshot to the bottom right. And we begin this last location at East 40th Street and Park Avenue, just before Grand Central Station. This bridge is Park Avenue, which goes right to Grand Central. We'll get there in a second, but I just want to show you, we were here the other night. This is the Gremlins 2 building, a new batch, the Clamp Corporation. Also, they shot some scenes out here from the Dark Knight, all kinds of stuff. 
right along Grand Central Station, of course. It's New York. Okay, so there's not really a walkway, but in the beginning of the movie, the first time you see Will Smith, he's running down Park Avenue away from Grand Central Station and a couple of New York police officers are following with him. He's chasing the guy, the alien guy in the beginning. All right, Will Smith is coming down Park Avenue right here. I'm kind of in a similar spot just to show you. This is the railing of Park Avenue, the bridge, Grand Central. Running this way, two cops behind him. The alien has just come over the fence here, the ledge, and jumped off down into the street at Park Avenue and 41st. He lands like right down there at the beginning of the film. And look at this, this is right before the dude jumps off. Notice the railing of the two buildings. Again, this is the Clamp Corporation building, also the building to the right. Look at this right here. I'll put a screenshot in the lower right hand corner. Get the railing in there too. This is where he jumped off down to the street onto 41st. That's pretty awesome. Oh, there's cars coming. I gotta be careful. I'm not so sure if I'm supposed to be out here, but I'm being careful. And I've come down to lower Park Avenue just to show you this moment right here. Right after he jumps down to the street, he's standing right below the 41st, uh, right on 41st below the bridge here. And here you go, right before Grand Central, 41st Park Avenue. This is where he would have landed in the street. I'll put a screenshot down to the right. Way off in the distance, down 41st, you can make out the New York Public Library way down that way. That's where he landed. So Will Smith jumps off after him. The bus would have been coming down this way. He jumps on the top of the tour bus. The bus continues a little bit down this way, and then he gets off the bus right here. You don't really see this, but I kind of figured it out. And he runs back this way and hops on that box truck. And he kind of rides it like uh, Marty McFly style all the way up to the Guggenheim. Now in reality, that's a long ride. That's, that's probably two or three miles from here. You can definitely see the bus rushing this way. You can't go here now because it's all blocked up, but right before Grand Central and 42nd, this is where Will Smith jumped on that truck. Yeah, here you go. Notice this up here in the windows. Of course, you got Grand Central. I paused it just right so you can see the box truck that Will Smith jumped on. It was like right here going down the street. All right, thanks for watching. Those were the filming locations to Men in Black as far as Manhattan. Is that why you're wearing the sunglasses? I've got the sunglasses on just in case someone tries to erase our memory. Oh, good move. I, I wasn't gonna do it, I swear. You helped me so much today. You know, thank you so much for matching, help me match stuff up. I don't have like a little thing. I might have it in my in my left hand. Oh. But you put the glasses on. I just tagged the log. You did all the work. Yeah, he helped me out though. It was great. Thanks for, uh, yeah, you matched up a lot of stuff. You helped me out, gave me pointers. Um, I'm just really happy we could do this. This was kind of off the cuff. I wasn't yeah. sure I was gonna do this. I know you, it was unplanned for you and then you got up this morning and said, I'm gonna do this. So we, you did it. We did it, yeah. And I think we got pretty much all the Manhattan locations to Men in Black. There were several scenes filmed out at Big Sky Ranch out in Los Angeles. Uh, That's a tough one to get into. Edgar was, his house was out there. There's a couple other scenes filmed out there. Maybe someday I'll revisit those locations when I'm out there. But I'm pretty happy. I like the movie and I got to see a lot today. It was very cool. I love filming locations. I love seeing where it was made and how it went down. It's kind of like being a detective sometimes. It is, yeah. It's yeah. Fun. So, yeah. I hope you guys like it. If you're a fan of the movie, I hope you enjoyed it. But uh, that was it. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. If you like filming locations, I have a filming locations playlist on the main page of my YouTube channel. So down check below, all of them there, out. Up here. But for now, I'm just gonna have to erase your memory, cause. Good thing I had these on. Good thing, I think we got them. You guys remember what just happened? You don't, well, why don't you go back and rewind it? It's back there, much behind my friends. Thanks for watching the Men in Black filming locations. Know you're awesome, know you're loved. No matter who you are, what you're going through, there's always much ahead. That's it. All right, the video's over. Let's go get some, you want some food? Oh no, I think I got him. <laughs> I can't hold it anymore. He couldn't hold it any longer. That was hilarious.